my dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus welcome to the daily bread gospel reflection during these ending times in the gospel of matthew chapter 18 verses 21 through 35 we see a clear analogy to the our father prayer where we ask our father to forgive us the way we forgive others if not you know how it's going to stay in our life and even late blocking the paths of grace and salvation only a very generous man offers to forgive unconditionally from a human perspective what saint peter offered is unusual and heroic being with jesus for some time had transformed peter a lot we still live in a world where forgiving for the first offense is seen as generosity forgiving the second time is deemed as weakness and forgiving a seventh time is counted as madness no one can deny that peter had grown a lot with our lord being with jesus for a few months had changed peter considerably that transformation was made complete when jesus intervened peter put an extremely generous limit for forgiving Jesus in turn intervened to take away all limits seven times no Peter suggested forgiving was generosity Jesus correcting him asserting that forgiving is obligatory forgiving is obligatory because we need forgiveness and forgiving is a duty because we are already forgiven A Christian is asked to forgive their brethren every time they truly repent and turn away from their sin. Yet to be able to discern whether it is through genuine repentance that they ask pardon. We can also spiritually forgive those who do not even ask for forgiveness because we are then liberated of the task. We can then walk in peace. Forgiving is our sacred duty because we are children of a forgiving heavenly father. One of the sweet memories of childhood is trying the dress and shoes of the parents. Any child proud of their parent would try the wardrobe of their parent. When we try forgiving, we are trying to step into the shoes of our heavenly father. That is a, the cutest thing our heavenly father loves to see us doing. If you haven't started forgiving without counting you have not started to grow you have not started to grow as per the standards of heaven when you start forgiving without counting you are proving to yourself that you are the proud child of your heavenly father when you forgive forgive like Jesus Jesus forgiving from the cross is the best example Jesus Christ our Lord did not tell them that he forgave them rather he took their side and prayed Father forgive them for they know not what they are doing most of us would not have sinned if we really knew we hardly know how others see it or feel it it is the same with others too hence try putting ourselves in the shoes of Jesus learn to forgive like Jesus his prayer on the cross for those who crucified him was father forgive them forgive them and wasn't this the ultimate moment of forgiveness filled with agony total unjust utter humiliation deserted and almost alone but still he forgives those who caused all his suffering the ordeal all right then how can i be sure that i have really forgiven somebody If we have started praying for the well-being and salvation of the offender and not envious about their growth we have forgiven them let's learn to forgive like Jesus my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus learn to love like Jesus and learn to pray like Jesus amen and god bless you